I'm Sky Kurtz. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Pure Harvest Smart Farms. Uh, we're deploying large-scale climate-controlled greenhouses that enable us to harness uh, light or solar energy and convert it to food cheaply. And right now we're doing premium varieties of fresh fruits and vegetables and expanding around the region. It's adaptable in that we can do it anywhere in the world. People are doing this in Finland, Norway, uh, Japan, and of course we are now doing it here in one of the harshest climates in the world in the Middle East. And if you can do it here, you can do it anywhere. If you think about the composition of GDP, of growth, it's consumption, investment, government expenditure or government uh, income, and net exports, exports minus imports. That is GDP. We help every piece of that, increase consumption, attract foreign direct investment, we pay the government to lease land and buy power and other consumables, and instead of exporting our wealth and importing food to feed the people of this region, we consume it locally, which creates a multiplier effect. So we are the best kind of growth that this region is after, and they're seeking with their big visions. Controlled environment ag is sustainable. Uh, First of all, we use very, very little water in our production. We grow hydroponically, so rather than our plants being in the dirt, they're in a nutrient bath that is incredibly resource efficient. Secondly, in our controlled environment, we actually capture any water. There's no waste. So even our cooling systems create condensation water, and we re-inject that water and capture it. So nothing is wasted, no energy, no water. And lastly, and importantly, we displace the carbon that would be burned to ship food here and we consume CO2 locally. We are actually eating carbon and we're carbon negative, which is a huge benefit to the environment. It's commonly understood that there will be nine and a half billion people in the world by 2050 and to feed them we need 70% more food. But rarely do people double click on that problem and where it's concentrated and regions like the UAE or sorry, like the GCC, that heavily import, you know, 90% of their food, are heavily affected by that with fast-growing populations and that they export their wealth to import their food, and a lot of that wealth is dependent currently upon natural resources. So if you want to diversify to, to true and tangible food security, help them conserve their water, diversify their economy, and, uh, you know, promote sustainability in, in something that heavily affects water and the earth, which is agribusiness, this is the place to do it. And lastly, the climate, it's one of the harshest in the world. If our tech can work here, it can work anywhere. The relationship with the government has been uh, terrific. Honestly, it feels like they're fighting for you instead of against you. And examples are we work with the Minister of State of Future Food Security, which is a cabinet level minister tackling the exact problems that our business is founded upon tackling. Uh, we, the Mohammed bin Rashid Innovation Fund is our largest single investor, a critical enabler of the, the risk capital we needed to build the proof of concept, the first farm we ever built. We're, we're, we're based out of Abu Dhabi Global Market, a federal free zone with, um, with law that international investors were attracted to. And we work with the DAFSA, the Abu Dhabi Agricultural and Food Safety Authority, um, who helps to regulate us, but also supports us with things like land and a lot of the needs we need. So really, governments have been all around this project. I think they understand the importance of food and food security, and I think they're welcoming with open arms an innovator trying to tackle the, the, these critical problems. So we've had nothing but good experiences with the government. <laughs>